Hello friends, how are you? So today we are going to discuss about validation rule uh, in Pega. So how do you how you are going to validate? Uh, we are just going to see now. Okay, but here I am not going to use uh, normal variables here. Instead, I am going to use uh, D page. Okay, so I am calling a data page in my validation rule. So how is it possible or how do we write? Let's check that. so what's my requirement over here so my requirement is uh, like I will uh, let me send let me show my uh, case here so I'll say I'll write name and email ID and whenever I submit this uh, you know it should not uh, you know it should not of course here it is anyways it is uh, as it is so it is going to validate whenever I give a wrong email ID which is not there in my SOR or it may be in my Pega data base if it is not available then it should throw if it is already available then it should throw me an error saying that user already exists so for that what I am doing is I am going for validate rule why validate rule here I am comparing uh, already available values with the uh, with the value which I am giving so comparing the uh, properties against the values so whenever you have this comparison such type of comparisons then the you know the rule which you have, which has to come in your mind is validate rule so let's create validate rule so before that we need to understand that we have uh, records in our uh, application so for that I'm taking local data source if you see my data type over here I have a person uh, data type where it has local data source as records these are all my records over there which are uh, which are already available so now what I do is I will give these values here so when I give uh, such uh, like some value like this whenever I give like this so I'm giving like this right so whenever I give this and submit so automatically this should go to the next stage why why it should go to the next stage because akalavya at the gmail.com is not available in my records if you look here that is not available in my records as it is not available in my records it should go into the next screen so it is going to the next screen but what is my requirement here is whenever I give a value which is already present here for example I'm giving Drona over here okay so whenever I give Drona at the gmail.com it should throw me uh, an error it should throw me an error saying uh, it should throw me an error saying that drona at the gmail.com is already exist in your database so how do you uh, check this validation okay so basically I want to save uh, this data into my uh, database but uh, this that particular saving I am not showing in this part in this video but uh, currently we are just uh, verifying whether we are giving a unique email ID or uh, or a uh, already available email ID so I whenever it is already available email ID then it should throw an error so for that what I use uh, do is I will use one of the data page which is already available which are already created by Pega so this is the one which is uh, there so D underscore person so when I say D underscore person run and if I give here the value which is not there okay so this is not there right so when I run this it will throw me an error saying that it is not available but for example if I give if I give which is already there okay and run it then it will throw it will show me all the values which are uh, which are with respect to that particular email ID this one this Karna address email ID is one so with respect to that it will show me so here what is important here is getting the PZ DNS key is important so now I'll take this particular property and uh, use the D page in my validation so how to use my validation here or how to create a validation rule so I will create a validation rule and configure that in my flow action rule which is collect details in that flow action rule I will uh, configure so uh, uh, for time being I already created one this the one uh, validation rule that is called as validate user and if you save this I mean uh, I already used it so let me 
open that particular validate user so this is validate user so how did I write here so as I know now that pzinsk has value right so I'll take this value and in functions I'll take a function as property reference has a value and whatever the value which in which uh, yeah, now I'm calling dpage here so how am I calling dpage you can see here d underscore person uh, email id colon dot email id dot pzinsk what is this actually means email id is the parameter which is already there in d underscore person so where is our d underscore person so this is d underscore person so we have to pass one parameter right so for that what I'm doing is from my uh, from my uh, case from my case from my case I'm passing this email id whatever the email id is there I'm passing this email id to the uh, uh, to that particular d page so for that I have to write one formula or one syntax so how the syntax looks like syntax looks like this d underscore person that is d page in the brackets if there are any parameters you write that parameter colon and what are the value you want to write that value dot email id and what do you want to check which property value you want to check that you write pzinsk i want to check if this is available then pzinsk will be there if it is not available then pzinsk will not be there it will be empty so that i am checking whether it is having value or not i am checking in validate user uh, uh, validate user uh, uh, in in that particular validation rule so i took a selection select a function as this one property reference has a value and in this I took d underscore email id the one which I have written in the notepad and submit and save now let me create let me write now so I'll write already available one submit so if you see already available one what happened already available one yeah condition was not enabled that's why it is throwing uh, it was not showing so I enabled this condition so submit save job search so now write drona at gmail dot com and write drona now can you see user already exists so this is how you do the d page yes so we have one and un, one more exception over here what is that means for example if you are writing uh, if you're going to call this job search and email id is not mandatory and if you're submitting okay if you're submitting what happens okay so whenever you submit like this you'll throw it will your uh, pega throws an error saying that you that the validation what are the validation we have written that is not matching at all so email id cannot be blank so this type of uh, error uh, it will send so you need to handle this exception also so for that what i am doing over here is in validate user i'm adding another uh, another uh, rule like this i'm adding another rule uh, sorry another condition like first value is equal to second value email id is equal to this and i'm enable this condition so i'm writing two conditions for re for one email id only okay one email one is talking about whether it is empty if when if it is empty then it should throw an error if it is uh if pzinsk is also not following it should throw an error both the things so here uh, one thing you need to take care is you should not select this continue validation so if you select continue validation what happens is at a time uh, at a time this will uh, execute all the conditions which are there in validate rule so that is how you uh, I'm, I'm handling the exception here so that there is no error for me okay so this happens when there is no asterisk that is no mandatory field so for example I'll give something like same name uh, so now what happens so now what happens uh, if I submit also it will throw an error saying that email ID can already exist or this particular user already exists thank you